Hi, welcome back to another Tech Tips video. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to pair a TC8 touch controller with a G7500 video conference unit. Easiest way to do this is going to be through the web interface and so we're going to go ahead and set that up. Now a couple parameters to make sure this is going to work for you is first make sure your TC8 is powered up and has a valid network connection. You can check that by going into the settings and you'll see that it has uh, an IP address assigned. And then also make sure that your G7500 has a network connection and is on the same subnet as your TC8 touch controller. These two will find each other over the network and so you want to make sure that they're reachable to each other on the same subnet and that they've got valid IPs and are on the network. If for some reason they're on different networks or they're not getting a network address, they're not going to be able to find each other to pair up. Now to start the pairing process, I'm going to log into the web interface. And I'm going to use the navigation menu here and we're going to go into the general settings device management. And if we scroll down just a little bit, we're gonna see this section here called available devices. And you'll see that it very quickly found this TC8 on the network. And right now it knows that it's available because it shows that it's unpaired. And so I can go ahead and initiate that pairing process from the web interface. I'll confirm that. So they're now gonna communicate and sync up and we'll get a message that they have been paired. And we'll see that the interface on the TC8 will give us a message that has now successfully been uh, connected and it'll get synced up. And now depending on what mode your unit's in, I'm in poly mode, so it'll bring up the touch controller in poly mode, but if I was in Teams mode or Zoom mode or one of the other ones, it would then also download the appropriate application to the TC8 touch controller. And so now you can see that it has synced up, I'm able to control my G7500 and I'm ready to go. If at any point we wanna unpair this, um, and we want to go back to some other control method for this room, we can actually just go back to that web interface and select the unpair option, and this will then unpair the TC8 from the G7500. And then now when you do software updates on your unit, you will see that it will actually update both units at the same time. So it'll do this, and it will update your touch controller, so they always stay in sync with the same software version. So that is how you go ahead and you set up your TC8 controller for the G7500. Hope that uh, tech tip helped you out in getting set up. If you'd like to uh, keep informed on new tech tip videos that are coming out, be sure to like and subscribe.